Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. I think that the things that have brought us here today tell us a lot about the development of our continent of Africa. I'm beginning by saying that the place of the diaspora, the status of people in the diaspora, of the African diaspora, is intimately linked with what happens on the continent. And Africa strong and performing transforms your position and your status here in Europe. But in Africa, which continues to live the narrative of poverty, hungry children, people going across the Sahara, going in rickety boats and dying in Lampesuda to get to Europe. That Africa is not an, a narrative that is going to help you over here. So I think between you and us, our main task is the transformation of the continent. And why do I say so? Just one simple example. The Chinese diaspora is supposed to be some 60 million people. And in the table of states that constitute the 25th country in the world. They're saying that of the 52 billion foreign investment that went into China in the 80s and 90s that transformed China into the, what it is today, the manufacturing hub of the world. 50% of that, 26%, came from the Chinese overseas community. And that development of China that has taken place has changed the status and the position of Chinese all over the world. So I want you to take those statistics very seriously because that is the transformative connection that we want to make with the African diaspora. How to implicate it in the development of the continent. Once we change the narrative about Africa, and we can only do it ourselves, we have to get away from the idea that there's some Father Christmas somewhere who's going to come and develop our continent for us. There is no such Father Christmas. There's just us who are going to be able to develop our continent. So, once that mentality is our mentality that we have to do it ourselves. Then our relations with other people become that much more structured and, and uh, punctilious, if you like. Our relations with France, our relations with Europe. Our relations with Europe is a natural one. You look at the geography of the world, Africa and, and, and Europe, our, our natural partners. There's just this small strip of water, the Mediterranean, that separates the two of us. So when you look at that, and you look also at the history of, that has gone on between Africa and Europe, that is a natural relationship and a natural alliance. But a relationship that has to be different from the relationship that we've had up to now. Why do I say so? That relationship has enriched Europe, but has not enriched Africa. So we need to change that dynamic. And we can only do it by ourselves taking the correct measures for our future. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.